Audi is all about innovation. Innovation and technology run in the company's veins. The best architects in the world are also constantly innovating, persistently pushing the boundaries as they strive to combine the latest materials with cutting edge design. Innovation is fundamental to architecture. We have to find new ways of using the latest technology to move architecture forward. Chris, one of your more recent creations is the Alpine House at Kew Gardens. Tell me a little bit about what makes this project special. Well, what's most interesting about this project is that it's designing for these uh, tiny little alpine plants, which are uh, are much more sensitive than human beings. They require a particular kind of environment which doesn't really exist in this country. The interest in sustainable architecture is really um, the most current preoccupation for architects at the moment. So and to the uninitiated, what is sustainable architecture? Well, it's using the minimum amount of energy and it's reducing as far as possible, pollution into the environment. Tell me the kind of the story, I suppose, of the Gateshead Millennium Bridge. There was a big challenge for us, and um, the eureka moment was to have an arch in section supporting the curve in plan. So there are two effectively two curves or two arches which are joined together at the base and then they rotate on a pivot in order to achieve the um, clearance when it opens and that's never been done before there are a series of uh, historic bridges there and um, a very famous one it is an arched structure so to put another one close to it, it, it makes a lot of sense to, to keep the same sort of structure. In order to tilt it, we have hydraulic rams to create the tilt. But it's much easier if there's a balanced mechanism to it, really. So there's a, a lot of weighting on the, um, the arch part of the structure so that you only need to push it a little bit and it tilts open. That is quite a downfall. Wow. This is the site of the new Audi Centre. It's a little under two acres. So what's it going to be like when it's built? It's going to be an exciting design. I'll show you on the plan. This is the line of the road over right, there. up there. It has a curved facade, which is about five storeys high at the front. I can show you in section how it works. This is the front of the building with five floors, one of those being a mezzanine floor. And at the back, there are three floors. This is more showroom. At the front, you've got office and display and showroom. And then there are the two floors here of basement with the workshops at the back. Where did you draw your inspiration for this design? A number of um, different things that helped to inspire us. The manta ray fish was one. And also um, using sort of modern technology, the B2 stealth bomber has a similar sort of shape. the relationship between architecture and innovation? I'd like to think that architecture is about designing economic, beautiful buildings that respond to the users and to the environment. Mm -hmm.